Hi, I'm Nicole. And I'm Jason. And this, this is, is Husband T. Torture. Torture. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, is I happen to find a bourbon barrel stout that has Earl Grey tea added to it. Um, I think that's something that Jason's going to like. So I was trying to find some kind of tea infused alcohol that he won't like. Um, so I wound up going with a hard kombucha, um, so I know for sure that Jason does not like kombucha, so that should be a fun one. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's been so long since we've done one of these, now I knew why I don't miss it. <laughs> That's the best sound of the whole episode right there. <laughs> Let me just pick this stuff down here. Get it out of the way. It's for you. Oh, we both gotta have a... I'm just going to drink the rest of it. Let's see what we got here. We'll try to make it even. Make it a mess. So this beer is part of the Bourbon County line made by Goose Island um, beer. I'm trying to get it to be even. <laughs> so far they're not even because that's going to go down. It's okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm doing a pretty good job. Yeah. It's got to be like me, perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said when we got married. So I know their regular bourbon stout is my absolute favorite beer. Um, so I'm really interested to see what this one is like go. and if you can taste the tea in it. From what I tasted, what I spilled on the table wasn't too bad. Um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Now, first of all, yes, I liked it because okay. it's beer. Yeah. Um, now, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I've ever had Earl Grey tea, have I? I mean, you have. It's just black tea with like an orange flavor, basically. Okay, so everyone's pretty much had Earl Grey tea. Definitely. Pretty much, yeah. It's the tea is subtle. Like the bourbon is definitely the like dominant note there. Mm -hmm. That's why I like these. They they definitely have a good strong bourbon taste. That's where I ever come home and I did something wrong. <laughs> I bring a bottle of Bourbon County home with me. <laughs> Works every time. Works every time. I feel like it's a little thinner than the usual bourbon stout. It is. You know, not in a bad way. No. It just, it it's not as thick. Like that one's almost like maple syrup thick, where this one isn't quite so thick. Yeah, the, the regular Bourbon County is, it's heavier mm -hmm. than this. You do get just a subtle hint of Earl Grey. Though. Well, I'm getting like that sudden hint of orange. Yeah. In there with it. Mm -hmm. Which maybe I think I might actually even like this because, like, you know how me I like like I like beers like like Shock Top or like you know like the Fat Tire Orange mm -hmm. and you know um, Blue Moon. I like yeah, those, you like more like those, those citrusly flavored beers. Mm -hmm. I've always liked them. So this having that little orange note in there is really nice. Definitely. She is much more of a, a stout drinker mm -hmm. than I am. Nicole can't have beer if, if like light can't pass through it. You know, <laughs> if, if light goes through it, she don't want. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, I only really drink things like this, or if like it's like St. Patrick's Day, or you know, if we're having like a like a corned beef sandwich or something like that, like something like that, then I'll get a Guinness. Mm -hmm. But it's or or a stout. But it's definitely never my first go to. That's you all the way. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm just more like you know. I love it when they go to the restaurant and they hand the they hand the beers down and they put the Guinness in front of me and the beer. They so always like, assume it's for you. It was like, yeah. no, no, no. Mm -hmm. She's she's the macho one here. I'm not, I'm not, so. <laughs> but yeah, no, I like this a I lot. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. But like I said, like if you don't get the orangey like when you drink it, mm -hmm. but like it takes like a couple seconds after you swallow it and like the aroma like lingers yeah. in the mouth, then you get the orange. No, I will say I don't know if it's worth paying extra for the tea flavor. Um, is every state's a little bit different on alcohol prices. Um, the regular Bourbon County um, for a bottle the same size we had is about $20 That's around $20. here. Well, it used to be like 35 when it first came yeah, out. It's, it was harder to get. But, well, but uh, the tea flavor that I found in my local liquor store was $24.99. So it is quite a bit more expensive. Um, it's fun to try and they have a few different other flavors that I'd like to try, but I don't know if I would pick this up on a regular basis because it does cost so much more than the regular and the tea flavor is more subtle. Unless I buy it. You can buy it for me all you want. 
So for our hard kombucha, uh, we have flying embers. Um, it is their black cherry flavor. It's a black tea base. Um, basically, it's a kombucha where they don't remove the alcohol, where a lot of the time, you know, when you're buying a kombucha, say at the grocery store, they do remove the alcohol. That way it can be sold as just a general beverage. It is black cherry, so you might not hate it. That's the only thing. Um, pour as much as you want in your cup. <laughs> <laughs> you might not hate it. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's bad. You can't be that bad. Yeah, it, it smells like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> like if I just stuck my head in the garbage can. Oh my god. And sniffed. Jason. Alright, no offense to anybody who likes kombucha or oh. flying embers. Oh. He just does not like kombucha. I don't I don't knock anyone who yeah. doesn't <laughs> like something I don't like. We all have different tastes. This is just not one of mine. Definitely. All right, well, let's try it. I'm scared. I haven't done this in so long. Oh, stop. I get the black cherry. Yeah. The aftertaste is horrific. <laughs> it's just like, black cherry, yeah, it's like kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> you get that like fermented taste. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Mmm. No, there's no sugar added to this one, but it is very sweet because of the black cherry flavor. I can only imagine how much I would not like this if we just got a regular cake. Yeah, I mean, there's like kombucha comes in all different flavors, you know, but you really don't taste the tea in this one. Because the cherry is more predominant, like. I didn't even know, like, kombucha was tea. Yes. For, like, maybe until about, what, a week ago? <laughs> and, uh, and then I realized it was tea. Yeah. And then I was like, crap, she's gonna make me drink this on the show. <laughs> 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 and then I... Try my best not to tell her that I have found out that kombucha is tea. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, maybe uh, maybe there's like this 0.01% chance that my wife doesn't know kombucha is tea. And uh, no. yeah, anything that is tea, my wife knows. <laughs> anything. I personally like kombucha. Like for me, I, if I, I... I will continue to drink. If I'm kind of like craving soda, I'll get kombucha instead because it's kind of like a healthier alternative. Because you get that carbonation. You know, you know what? You know? But the smell of it is worse than the taste of it. Because <laughs> when I smelled it, I was like, no, I was going to get rid of just to pour it right, oh all right into your cup. <laughs> I mean, I figured, you know, if we did real, like, unflavored, can, is that, is that mm -hmm. a thing, unflavored? I mean, you could just do regular black tea without adding any flavor to is it. That, yeah. is, that, is that the regular way of yeah, doing it? Yeah, I guess it? that would be, yeah. I figure that way would be just... That you definitely wouldn't like. No bueno. Yeah. Where this, this has the still, cherry added to no. it. Well, like me, black cherry soda is like my favorite soda in the world. Mm -hmm. So when she's like, what flavor black cherry? <laughs> That's it. <Yep. laughs> but it's not... You know, I... I did think it was going to be worse than it is. I don't like it. I don't. Okay. Like, when she goes like this... Um, it have always scared, excuse me. Kombucha makes you burp. Um, <laughs> but um, if I had to choose between, if there's only kombucha left in the fridge, I'll be like, got me Drano? Or oh my God. something like that. <laughs> Jesus. You know, just, it's not that bad. <laughs> everything that she gives me for the second drink on every one of these shows is bad. Some are not as bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. There you go. It's all you. Have fun. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> I give up. All right. Well, mm. thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments if there's something that you would like to see Jason try in a future episode. Um, we're working on getting back to filming more regularly, so hopefully we'll have more for you soon. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for the intro. No. I'm just putting it backwards. What? You keep putting it backwards. I, uh, why?
That's the fruit bottle. Oh. I thought the label was the fruit bottle. <laughs> Are we ready to torture you? I'm finishing my beer. Uh, oh. You can finish it off camera. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I thought I was gonna like this episode. And she's like, no, we're getting rid of the good stuff and we're going right to the bad stuff. <laughs>